Hello my dear students in this video session we learn about a measurement so i hope in the previous class we are familiar with the physical quantity and units the types of units types of physical quantities these things and all and while defining the physical quantity we mention that any quantity which can be measurable any quantity which can be measurable that quantity is we can call it as physical quantity so the physical quantity we have to define that physical quantity means the measurement is very important the measurement is very important while defining the physical quantity now let us see what is measurement that is very important before going to the 2.3 measurement of land we have to know about the measurement what it is the measurement a very simple definition is that what is measurement the simple one simple thing is here uh, i have to measure the land from a to b i'll take the same example we have to measure the land from a to b i have to measure this land so we already familiar with this length is a physical quantity length that is l is a physical quantity is a physical quantity so why we call it as a physical quantity because which is measurable or which can be measurable so which can be measurable that's why length is a physical quantity so why define the measurement the length i have to measure this length from a to b how to measure this length so by using any devices any devices are needed to measure the length from a to b so particularly uh, we already know physical quantity how will you express that physical quantity that is q is a physical quantity uh, with the numerical number and that proper unit i hope you are getting my point q is a physical quantity the numerical number with the proper unit and we have already know the definition of unit also which is particularly a standard of reference internationally accepted a certain basic arbitrarily chosen like that so which is a unit we already familiar with the physical quantity and unit this number number means just like this physical quantity is equals to how many times that is number of times number of times unit the physical quantity is equals to the number of times unit for example this length maybe i am assumption that 50 cm this length is 50 cm length is a physical quantity 50 is the number of times number that means 50 times of what 50 times of unit so 50 times of unit so here what we did a very simple thing is we are comparing the physical quantity comparing this physical quantity comparing this physical quantity with a standard of reference with the standard of reference that is unit just like if i have to measure this length from a to b means i have to use this device a meter scale i have to use the meter scale so this meter scale is a standard of reference particularly for a length a meter is a standard of reference that is we will call it as a unit like that here i measure it with a centimeter means centimeter is the standard of reference like that so if i measure this length means the measurement means the comparison of this physical quantity with the standard of reference so for example here the length is a physical quantity Which is equal to if I measure this length is forty five centimeter. So I am comparing this physical quantity, this physical 
quantity with the standard of reference standard of reference here which one i took a standard of reference the centimeter centimeter is a standard of reference centimeter is a standard of reference so how much times will be the comparison the 45 times of centimeter is the length between a and b the length between a and b is i'm comparing with the centimeter just like i'm comparing with the centimeter scale that is how much times it is that 45 times it's centimeter now i hope you got the idea of the definition of measurement the simple thing measurement is nothing but a comparison of a physical quantity comparison of a physical quantity with a standard of reference so i hope it's clear the measurement definition measurement is nothing but a comparison of physical quantity with its standard of reference for example mass how will you find the mass of an object if i have an object how to find the mass of an object i am taking the balance so the balance means i am comparing here in the right hand i'll keep some noun mass of an object and i'll place unknown mass of an object in an another and now i am comparing comparing means how much times if it is not balanced i have to put some more weights i have to put some more weights or i have to remove some more weights so that means i am comparing with the standard of reference i am comparing with the standard of reference otherwise for example if you ask a grocery shopper so for a 1 kg of sugar means 1 kg of sugar so he is comparing the sugar with his standard of reference for example 1 kg he will keep 1 kg in a one pan of the balance and another pan of the balance he is in the sugar and he is comparing the quantity particularly he is comparing that physical quantity here physical quantity is mass he is comparing the mass with his standard of reference with his standard of reference means 1 kg kg is the standard of reference so how many times the one time of kg or if you ask 5 kg so he is comparing with the 5 kg means kg is the standard of reference so 5 times is kg i hope it's clear the measurement is nothing but a comparison of the physical quantity with this standard of reference with this standard of reference particularly a proper unit so this is about a measurement now we we'll go for a measurement of length usually for a syllabus the important is for a measurement of length measurement of mass and measurement of time usually these three physical quantities are very important in a mechanics i hope you already know i already mentioned that thing also so here uh, we already now about that units and measurements i hope uh, you are familiar with that units and measurement now now we we'll go for the measurement of length one by one measurement of length next measurement of mass next measurement of time like that now first of all we we'll see the measurement of length and we are already familiar with the measurement of length the common measurement the direct method direct method to measure the length one thing we already saw here that is by using the scale common scale so that is a measurement of length now we we'll see that the sum of the direct method to measure the length so how will you measure the length commonly the common measurement of length is by using the meter scale we are using the meter scale and one thing keep in your mind anything you have to measure means you need a device 
or an instrument to measure the physical quantity particularly measurement of length or measurement of mass or measurement of time whatever it may be while you have to measure means already we know we have to compare the physical quantity with its standard of reference the standard of reference means which one will give the standard of reference the device or an instrument will give the standard of reference so by using the meter scale the common measurement of length is by using meter scale this is a standard of reference for a measuring amount of length usually this meter scale is measures the length from length from 10 to the power of minus 3 meter length from 10 to the power of minus 3 meter to the 10 to the power of 2 meter 10 to the power of 2 meter that means 10 to the power of minus 3 means you people already know that is 1 mm 10 to the power of minus 3 10 to the power of minus 3 means mm so 1 mm usually this is our lab we are using this scale usually we will call it as a meter scale but actual meter scale is up to the 10 to the power of 2 meter that is the standard meter scale which is in the world laboratory the scientists they are using the standard meter scale for a measurement of length usually that is measures the length from the least measurement is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter to the larger measurement 10 to the power of 2 meter that is approximately 100 100 meter usually the 100 meter running track we can measure the 100 meter running track by using this meter scale so once again if you have to measure the further 200 meter means once again you have to make a mark on that just like from here to here here to here it is 100 meters so to put a mark here b so it will be 100 meter next we'll take the same a uh, meter scale that means we take we place here and once again you have to measure so make a mark on c that is 100 meter like that so like that you have to measure so i hope it's clear the meter scale is a common device is used to measure the length and you already know the unit also i hope the si unit is meter the measurement of length the si unit of length is meter that thing also you have to keep in your mind si unit of length si unit of length is meter si unit of length is meter and usually here they will ask uh, one more questions or two more questions like that the question will be like this how to measure the length which device is used to measure a common length that is you have to mention that direct method particularly meter scale and they will mention uh, sorry they will ask the question like this the least measurement done by the meter scale you people have to mention that 10 to the power of minus 3 meter the least measurement done by the meter scale is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter and we will see some other direct method for a measurement of length particularly for a smaller measurement smaller measurement of length for a smaller measurement of length we go for a smaller measurement of length this is common measurement that is the device is meter scale now we will see the smaller measurement of length that means if the length is lesser than 10 to the power of minus 3 meter lesser than 1 mm or 10 to the power of minus 3 meter that means it is not possible to measure by using this meter scale what we have to do so the thing is we will go for a, another device which is used to measure the length so for example if i am unable to measure the thickness of the sheet by using this meter scale i am unable to measure this thickness of the sheet so what i have to do so i have to replace this device measuring device i have to take another measuring device so what is name the name of that device let us see that if the measurement is 
lesser than if the measurement is particularly lesser than this n the power of minus 3 meter so usually we will call it as an order of measurement usually we will call it as an order of measurement here n the power of minus 4 meter if this order is n the power of minus 4 meter i hope uh, you know here i mentioned n the power of minus 3 meter here i mentioned n the power of minus 4 meter means which one is uh, smaller here and the power of minus 4 meter is the smaller because negative sign is that even though the number is large here 3 here 4 uh, if you say that 4 is a larger how will you say that it is a larger sorry smaller measurement so because the power is minus is that and the power of minus 4 meter the order of measurement that is usually you already know 0 0.0001 meter like that measurement the smaller measurement usually order of measurement is 10 to the power of minus 4 meter for example 1 into 10 to the power of minus 4 2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 like that so for this measurement we will go for an, another device it is not possible by using a meter scale if it is the measurement of length or the length is 10 to the power of minus 4 is that means we will go for a, another device that is Vernier caliper. Vernier caliper. The name of the instrument, name of the device for a measurement, particularly direct method for a measuring the length. In that, particularly for a smaller measurement of length, is Vernier caliper, which is a device which is used to measure a smaller length, particularly in the order of 10 to the power of minus 4 meter so you people have to do the experiment in a laboratory in a practical so one or two experiments are there which is related to that vernia caliper so the first one is meter scale next for a smaller measurement so the name of the device is vernia caliper i hope you are observing this so this will be the device the name of the device is vernier caliper so by using this device we will measure the length of order of n the power of minus 4 meter usually how to measure this for example it is impossible to measure the diameter of this chalk holder with the scale so for that purpose i am using this vernier caliper now some calculation basis and formula basis I can easily measure the diameter of this chalk holder and also it is impossible to measure the diameter of this spherical object by using a meter scale it is by using meter scale it is not possible to measure the diameter of this sphere solid sphere so for that purpose also I am using the uh, vernier caliper to measure the diameter of this spherical object so you will perform this in a laboratory you have an experiment so you have to measure the diameter of the spherical object by using a vernier caliper like that and also i have another object so how to measure the internal diameter of this a uh, calorie meter this calorimeter, we will call it as a calorimeter or you can say that any glass is the means. So it is impossible to measure the diameter, means exact measurement of diameter is not possible because we did not know the center of this internal circle. So for that purpose also we will use the vernier caliper, it gives a standard value for the diameter. Now, it is easy to measure the internal diameter of this object by using the vernier caliper. So these are the some measurement, particularly smaller measurement of length. Example that is in the order of 10 to the power of minus 4. So by using vernier caliper. So you will perform these things in the laboratory. So the vernier caliper. Now we already know the length is small than the 10 to the power of minus 3 meter it is not possible 
to measure that plan by using meter scale. So we will go for the vernier calculator and somewhat how some other measurement of length or some other length is smaller than the order of 10 to the power of minus 4 meter. Then what we have to do? I hope you are following my words. That is the order of measurement of land is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter. 10 to the power of minus 5 meter is there. Then how to measure that land? It is not possible by using vernier caliper also. Vernier caliper is measuring the least measurement is 10 to the power of minus 4 meter. Then what we have to do? Once again, we will go for an another device. The device is screw gauge. Here it will be the screw gauge. I hope uh, you are observing this device. The name of the device is screw gauge. So by using this screw gauge, we can measure the smaller length. The order of measurement is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter. Usually this device are used in a many industrial purpose and in a laboratory purpose to measure the order of 10 to the power of minus 5 meter that is screw gauge the name of the device is screw gauge and I already mentioned earlier the measurement thickness of the sheet is not possible to measure the thickness of the sheet by using the normal meter scale so for that purpose while finding the thickness of the sheet we are using the screw gauge the device we call it as a screw gauge so by using this screw gauge i can easily find the thickness of the sheet and also thickness of the paper thickness of the paper also will measure based on using this screw gauge only i hope you are getting my point and also uh, it is not possible to measure the diameter of this wire diameter of this wire by using one caliper as well as by using meter scale it is not possible for that purpose we have to use the screw gauge for a measurement of diameter of this wire diameter of this wire by using this screw gauge so usually you will ask uh, 5 mm wire you have to keep uh, in a, usually in an electrical shop if you ask in an electrical shop I want 5 mm electrical wire or 10 mm electrical wire or 50 mm electrical wire 100 mm electrical wire like that that indicates they already measured the diameter by using this type of devices that is screw gauge is a device which is used to measure the smaller measurement of length in the order of 10 to the power of minus 5 meter. So the least measurement done by this instrument is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter. The least measurement done by the vernier caliper is 10 to the power of minus 4 meter. Least measurement done by the measurement of, of length 10 to the power of minus 3 meter is meter scale. Similarly, we can have another device that is we call it as a spherometer spherometer is a device which is also used for a measurement of 10 to the power of minus 5 meter the order of measurement is 10 to the power of minus 5 meter here will be the device so this is the spherometer you have an experiment based on this device in the laboratory in that laboratory, we came to know that how to measure the or how to find the radius and everything, the procedure, complete procedure, you will learn in the laboratory. So, just how to now about the order of measurement done by this instrument is in the power of minus 5 meter, and name of the instrument is spherometer. The spherometer is the device which is used to measure the radius of a curvature means a part of a spherical curvature is that means part of a sphere is that means just like you can imagine a volleyball I take a part of that volleyball just like look like like this so
so while measuring the depth and uh, you can easily find the radius of that volleyball based on that small part of that sphere so by using small part of the sphere so this is will be the device which is used to measure the length particularly the radius of curvature it is in the order of and the power of minus pi meter the device name is spherometer so these are the some direct method for a measurement of length smaller measurement of length if the measure in the length the length is the order of length is lesser than this till and the power of minus pi we saw if the measurement of length is lesser than the and the power of minus pi then what we have to do if the measurement is lesser than 10 to the power minus 5 maybe 10 to the power minus 6 meter the order is 10 to the power minus 6 meter so for that purpose we we'll go for the device the name of the device is microscope 10 to the power minus 6 meter and if the measurement of the order of measurement is lesser than 10 to the power minus 6 that is 10 to the power minus 7 to 10 to the power minus 9 or 10 approximately 10 to the power of minus 9 and minus 10 approximately the order of measurement is from 10 to the power minus 9 meter to 10 to the power minus 10 meter we'll go for the measure the length by using electron microscope electron microscope is a device which is used to measure the length particularly it is in the order of 10 to the power minus 9 to 10 to the power minus 10 uh, this electron microscope are a uh, scientist were using in their laboratory they are using for a measuring the length smaller length which is in the order of 10 to the power minus 9 to 10 to the power minus 10 meter the electron microscope now if the measurement of length the length is the order of length is lesser than this then what we have to do the length order of measuring this length is lesser than 10 to the power minus 10 meter then how to measure the length so for that purpose there is no direct method to measure the length for example the radius of a nucleus or a size of the nucleus size of the nucleus size of the proton size of the neutron so for that purpose there is no direct method to measure the size of the proton size of the neutron size of the nucleus and all so on that moment so we will go for an indirect method indirect method there is no direct method for a measuring the length so on that time we will go for an indirect method usually by calculation method just like by calculation method you will learn how to measure that radius and all in a, your second year you see atom and nuclear chapter in an atom and nuclear chapter based mainly in an atom chapter you will learn about how to measure the radius of the atom radius means the size particular so that's indirect matter you people have to remember this take the number of minus 9 or the number of minus 10 will measure by using direct method if the order of measurement is lesser than that will go for an indirect method this is the smaller measurement of length then next we'll go for a larger measurement of length larger measurement of length that means uh, the measurement of length is not possible the length measurement is not possible by using a meter scale then how to measure that length for example how to measure the distance or a length between the earth to the moon how to measure that length it is possible by using a meter scale i hope no it is not possible by using a meter scale so uh, the measure the length or a distance between the earth surface to that moon or any other planet or any other star from the earth So, which is not possible by using a meter scale. That means 
it is not possible by using a direct method then we will go for an indirect method we will go for an indirect method to measure the larger measurement of length for example the distance between earth and moon distance between earth and any other planet or distance between earth and any other star i hope it's clear you people have to go for an indirect method for a measuring a larger measurement clear now before that before going to the indirect method for a larger measurement of land we have to now about the range of land the range of land in the universe the length range varies from where to where range means you people have already an idea about the range range is nothing but the lower limit to do that upper limit lower limit to upper limit that means the lower value to that higher value or smaller value to that larger value so this range of a measurement of length the range of a length range of length in the universe the length how will it how it varies from where to where it will varies the thing is the range of length means approximately the size of proton it varies from the smaller length that is size of proton the proton is the subatomic particle the smallest particle the proton neutron and electron the, they are we will call it as a subatomic particle they are the smallest particle in the range so the size of the proton usually size means the radius is mainly about an radius and we already know radius is related to the length only so the size of proton to the size of it varies from size of proton to a size of now universe now universe now universe the size of proton to size of now universe because we don't know the universe how much it makes so now universe that's why we will take now universe or observable universe how much you have to observe how much we have already observed so that much the size of the observable universe or now universe is the larger length so that is in the order of a meter to in terms of si to that right this the powers of 10 means multiplier about a order the 10 to the power minus 15 meter to the 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 26 meter the order of measurement is 10 to the power minus 15 meter to 10 to the power of 26 meter not a measurement so the range of length the range of length varies from 10 to the power of minus 15 meter to 10 to the power of 26 meter this is the smaller value this will be the larger value and remaining all the objects or all the distance in the universe any object height or length whatever it may be the remaining all the object size of in all the objects are in between this range 10 to the power minus 15 meter to 10 to the power of 26 meter i hope it's clear this is about a range of length i will repeat that size of proton that is 10 to the power minus 15 meter to size of noun or observable universe that is 10 to the power of 26 meter this is about a range of length 